If you watched my first videotape about the introduction to databases, you heard me say that queries are very important. A query is just a question that you ask the computer. So instead of asking the database to tell you every single item on the McDonald's food menu, you only want to know the ones that meet certain criteria or requirements. And in this video, what we'll do is talk a little bit more about queries. Actually, you use queries all the time. Like if you went to Land's End to buy a certain kind of shirt, as we did in the first video, you're querying the database. If you go to the Mott web page and choose the winter semester and the 153 class and only classes that meet after 12 o'clock in the afternoon on Monday and Wednesday, you're querying the database. And if you go search for that coveted cheap flight to Orlando at Christmas time, you're querying the database. Those are all examples of queries. You just have to learn to do it in a different software program, that's all. There are three steps to making a query. First, you formulate the question. So I might say, in the winter 2015 semester, which COMG 153 classes are offered on Monday and or Wednesday after 12 o'clock noon? And that was the way we had set this form up that I showed you on the previous screen. So at the top I have the semester and then the class name, and then the time, and then the days of the week. Then you set up the query using the form, which is what we did here, and check the results. So when I did my query for the Land's End shirt, I only had one finally to choose from, and then I would choose the color and the size. And the class selections, these were all of the 153 classes on Monday, Wednesday afternoon. And Expedia, they actually had a cheap flight for $400, which is mm, pretty good. And so these are the steps to make a query. Let's look at the same thing in Access. I gave you here a little clip of a table of information about clients and mm, part of their address. This is a client table. And the query I'm going to ask is, which clients live in the city of Barrage? And I'll cheat just a little bit and look and see that there are two that live in Barrage. So now I know what I'm shooting for. Even if you're going to have a query with 10,000 records as a result, you still want to start with a little one to be sure your query is correct. So anyway, the steps are, you would click Create tab and then query design and then add the tables. This is the client table. It's the only one we need. Then select the fields I want to use, which is client name and city. And in the criteria row, I typed the city name of Barrage. And finally, then I will run the query. And sure enough, I came back with the two hits or two results I was looking for. I wanted to show you, though, an error. Uh, what if I had typed the city of Barrage incorrectly? Do you see I took one R out? I would have nothing as a result. Well, I know that means I made a mistake, so I'll go back to the form and see what I did wrong. No matter the size of the query or the complexity of the query, you follow the same set of steps. I bet you can do it now that you have an idea what you're shooting for.